Gully Gums. That was the name of the brand that I started in 2012, but why did I call it that? And where does that even stem from? What's going on everybody? Spencer Line here as per. For those that don't know, in 2012, I started the brand that we're talking about, Gully Gums, and it was a vintage and secondhand clothing brand. Last year, I had to close it due to a few issues with life, politics, and all the rest of it, but I wanted to open it again, which I have done now, and also come to YouTube, bring value, and just talk about what I've experienced. Now, this video is a little bit of a different one. I guess we're kind of going down memory lane a little bit, but I wanted to talk about Gully Garms and where that name came from and how I even got around to that process. And it's kind of interesting because there's quite a big story about how that even stemmed in the first place. I didn't start the brand as Gully Garms and I actually was a few different names before. Some of the names were absolutely wild as well and you could definitely tell the age I was when I came around with the process. So when I come into this mindset and I think about trying to help people understanding their brand names, the journey I had was definitely strange and some of the names I could have gone would have gone definitely not the right way. The first name, and this one's quite a bad one, the first name back in 2011 that I, that I thought of but I didn't actually use was Fresh Off The Body. Now that was at a point when I didn't really understand what I was selling and obviously didn't have a lot of maturity to things like that. I was just going for impact. My whole point was impact, impact, impact. And fresh off the body because I'd been going to charity shops and in my eyes, I was buying clothes of people that were probably not here to tell the tale about their items of clothing. I know what a mindset to be in, but guess what? Over the years, you definitely learn a lot about different points of yourself and also you just learn about where you are. Now, I did have a part of time where me and a friend kind of co business this brand called Mooch Vintage. We worked on basically the same principle through ASUS Marketplace. There wasn't many legs to that really and I think we were just both different in that scheme of things, how we worked, and obviously I think vintage businesses as a pair are quite difficult to do, which I'll talk at a different point. It's actually quite a good video talking about the perks of being your own boss versus working with people. And that was like maybe about a one to three month stint that made some money, but also it wasn't the direction of the brand. So I then went back and I took this as my own identity and I just named it Spencer Line 92. First name, second name, date of birth. I don't really need to tell you much about why that wasn't a good name. That was the process I'd had. Fresh off the body, Mooch Vintage, Spencer Line 92. So not really any consistencies with the themes of the name and it was quite clear that I liked the process of what I was doing because I remained doing it, but the names were very weird. The names didn't really connect. So I kind of had to look within a little bit and think about what it was that I was and who I was and what I wanted to represent. And in 2012, I was a big grime listener. So I like grime music and to this day I still do it's one of my genres that I can still appreciate but grime was a big part of my life back in the day with the friends I had and the culture that we were around grime music was definitely a big impact it was a big influence and big inspiration now the reason why that's important is it comes to the next point of what I like as well I like alliteration I don't know what it is but I always have liked the idea of there being alliteration with whatever it is I think that two words with the same letter just sound and connect very well so these are kind of thoughts that were going around in my head when I came up with the names. One underlying thing that I wanted to focus on was I wanted another way to say in streetwear. So eight months I was not operating as that brand. I was operating as just myself, Spencer Line 92, and just selling products like that. I knew that underlying to this, I wanted another abbreviation for streetwear. I was working with some of my friends who I'd met up with who were modeling. The streetwear stuff that I was getting in was really cool and I was thinking, streetwear, let's break down this word, street and where. So my mind starts to do all these focus points and I'm going, okay, street. And then I'm like looking down this thesaurus of what are other words for street? And at the time in grime music, especially around the 2012 period, gully is a word and was a word and continues to be one that is thrown around through music, through the use of British grime culture and sort of slang. And gully in of itself of that genre and the context of what I'm talking about means street. Gully means street. Gully actually means a lot of things, but in this context, it means and meant street. And where's. Where's is like a very interesting word to try and break down because where's is essentially what you are wearing. So it's just another version for that. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I went through different phases of trying other names, like writing it and not putting it out there, like steezy stuff and all these kind of things that just didn't connect. Like I knew the words and the vocab that I liked and I wanted to see what connected. So then it came around to Garms. And when I was thinking about that and I looked at it and I was like, gully Garms, the way that the two L's in the gully allow that sentence to sort of be clean, gully Garms, it felt really nuts. It felt like it was a well-connected name and it also sat with the streetwear impression that I wanted. It also had the alliteration that I was after. It meant what I wanted it to mean. 
in that scope of things, once I'd actually got to that point, it didn't actually take as long as I'm picturing and explaining to get to that point. But I think that what I learned from that was once I found a name that resonated with me and it actually agreed with all the points, it was ticked off. I didn't sit there and go, does this name work for me? Is this going to be like the right name? Are people going to get offended because I'm using the word gully? Is Garms like a little bit hostile as a word as well? Is it going to get the wrong connotations? Everything comes down to the way you make a brand feel and the way you make the logo look and how it sits as a complete package. Gully Garms was born. 2012 of September was when I'd officially done it, sitting on my mum's kitchen table with my laptop, and I was like, that's it. And I saved it, and then the rest is history. The rest is history as well, but I did then later on go down to get somebody at university to make me a logo and lots of other people to start creating ideas. Kind of what I think is a good point to take from this is that I went through processes over maybe the best course of eight months where I wasn't unsure on the brand identity that I wanted to have with it. I think that sometimes, especially with brands and creating a concept and creating a name, there can be so much pressure put on that that you forget about everything else. Oh my God, I can't do that yet because I haven't got a brand name, so who am I associated with? When realistically, for six months, I was Spencer Line 92, I still got sales, would they have been continually the same as if I wasn't called Gully Garms? I disagree, because I do think that there's a big aesthetic to the way names look, for the way you package everything. In that time I learned that process about what I wanted to be called, I spent time in the mind that it was trying to think about a name. I didn't try and overcomplicate the name, I didn't try to go out and beyond on it. I wanted something that worked and I just stuck with it. So guys, if you're ever at a point where you're thinking, what name do I want to be called, what's the brand name? It's really not important as long as you're happy with it and it means what you're actually intended it to mean. For me, streetwear, alternative, alliteration, and it works as a word and a sentence and it sounds good. GG looks good, gully looks good, gully garms works. Do you know what I mean? They all kind of connect us all the abbreviated bits. Hope this one finds you well guys. Feel free to drop a question or drop a comment or anything. It really is welcome. I don't know what my hands are doing but I really do appreciate any of it. And you will see me again every day, 6.30 p.m. We make videos about similar stuff, reselling, vintage, clothing, fashion, business, sustainability, life, whatever. You drop a comment if you think I've not touched on something and I will put it in my bag of ideas and next time I'm picking one out and filming it, hopefully it'll be that one. So guys, as always, stay safe, stay sustainable, stay smiling. There's uh, not enough time to be frowning, so stay smiling. And trust the process. Just keep doing whatever it is you're doing. Don't overthink it, just keep doing it. Less time thinking, more time just doing it, yeah? Big up, guys.